Hey guys, welcome. Actually just got back into town. Uh, the wife and I took the kids out to the city to go to the aquarium and just kind of go hang out. And then uh, probably tomorrow we're heading up camping. So yeah, just trying to squeeze in some, some quick something here. I decided to hop on MX bikes, which is probably going to be new. I don't know that I've posted much on my channel of this, but uh, those of you guys that know me, I love motocross real life and uh, riding and racing since I was a little kid so this is kind of my go-to zen relaxation when I uh, I just need to you know basically vent off some steam and uh, just relax and, and forget about stuff for a bit so I decided to hop on check out and see what new tracks are those are the guys those of you guys that don't know what this is so so my buddies from like Star Citizen Elite you know whatever else this is a, a, a motocross simulator so it's not quite like you know your MX versus ATV just you know, hit the hit the buttons, go along. You know, uh, have it really arcadey. This is uh, an actual simulator, right? So it's trying to get more one to one physics to real life. So this, uh, you know, has some built in stuff, but a lot of the content, a lot of the tracks are generated by the community. So there's tracks, bikes, all sorts of stuff that pop up pretty much every day. So it's really cool to check some stuff out sometimes. So today we're gonna be hopping into. Oh, where did it go? This is 2022 Tampa MX. Uh, this one come, came up, I think it's like two weeks ago or something like that, but I haven't had a chance to try it yet. So we're going to give a look at it. I actually did run a couple of laps, so full disclosure, and just saw that it was super awesome. So we're going to jump in here and uh, check it out and you know, basically just talk about it as we spin some laps around. Oh, by the way, too, I forgot to mention... So we are going up camping. Uh, those of you guys that know me as well, too, I've talked about this with a few, with a few gents. Uh, I've been getting really into FPV drones as well, too, eh, the last couple months, basically since the start of the year, but really seriously, maybe like the last month or two. So planning on doing a lot of really cool FPV droning when I'm up on the mountain, uh, through the trees, up around and stuff. So planning on doing some video stuff with that really soon. So uh, keep an eye out for that coming real quick. All right, let's get into it. All right, we are in. I am seeing some flickering here, but you know, custom assets and stuff. This is relatively common, so nothing too crazy. I forgot to mention as well too. For anybody that does play MX bikes, I'll put the track link in the uh, video description. You know, any of my buddies that play, you're probably gonna know how to find it anyways. MXBmods.com or on the forums. But uh, yeah, just in case, there will be a link right there. So let's go check this out. The start line was over this way. Do bear with me too, I'm going to be a little bit rusty, I haven't played as much lately as I, I usually would have. Back in the day, I've been uh, busy with things like XGR and just everything else going on family. That's a nice booter right off the bat, so full, full disclosure, I did practice that one just a little bit when I was running a couple laps. I am on a uh, 2022 CR250, so some of these booters are a little bit bigger on this. It's a cool little kind of tech jump there. Some of these too, you have to really time it. So I haven't tried it on a 450, but I'm sure you'd probably have to be pretty careful on throttle control on some of these, not to just completely OJ them, but on a 250, they're actually quite a big hit. Oh, and we have our first little biff there. That little corner that you hop up. So basically you hop from that, uh, that little lip right there and you basically got to be sideways when you hit this thing otherwise you're just gonna go clear over the side even if you take the inside it's really hard to not drift to the outside so definitely a little bit tricky I really this this track stuck out to me because a lot of these uh, a lot of the tracks you'll see you'll get replica tracks right that a lot of times feel a little bit small and then sometimes you get the, the you know arcadey just way too big tracks right or you technically could do it in real life but you know basically one little mistake is going to make you die this one's kind of a cool mix so it's got some really big booters right and a little bit of that cool arcadey flow but a lot of this is really believable right none of this is so out of scale to the point where it would just be totally unrealistic i'm gonna go for this big triple again 250 you have to really stretch it out we're a little short oh and we're gonna go down all right I'll try to run a couple lines as we go through here just uh, playing around Let's see what we got inside there 
This one I pretty much have to go outside because you have to really punch this thing on a 250 to get over that. Make sure you downside that nice. Back outside. Just a gentle little whoop section. This one's really fun. This is just kind of a, a scrub jump over the top. Tuck it back inside over this little tabletop. Teeny little double. And then we gotta get back up so we'll see if we can get this right. So we're kind of sideways going in. Yep, perfect. I don't know what I was doing over there, thinking about doing a scrub, but uh, not pulling it off. Cool little hip corner thing here. I'm in the wrong gear. Can I short this? You know, just messing up left and right. So can hop over this. We'll try to take those inside lines this next lap around. Just so we can show you guys what those are all about. This one's a cool little floater as well, too. This, this uh, track has a lot of these really cool floater jumps. This teeny little double. Let's try taking this inside line here. No, I just messed it up completely. So you would go double, and then you could technically even triple it out, although I don't know if that's technically possible on a 250. Definitely would be on a 450. Alright. And bear with me again, guys. This is, the, I think, the first time I'm ever trying to, like, talk and record a video of bikes at the same time, so... Yeah, see, this is so difficult to try to get that on a 250 from the inside. All right, we'll try to go inside on this one and see if we can actually stick it. Get a little sideways. Oh, we were short. Yeah, we're gonna pay the price. Let's just short this guy. Kind of this little knuckle there you can land on. This one can be really tricky too. There's just this corner. It's got a few different lines on it. And if you come in really wrong. Over. Oh, we're just messing up left and right. Can't keep it on two wheels. All right. Let's get inside here. Hop over that. Really stretch it to get over the top of that. Take the inside down here. Just a double and go off the track. <laughs> It's either really tough to talk and ride at the same time, or I'm just overestimating my skills. Probably a little bit of both. Alright, let's try going for this big triple again. No, we're not even going to go for it. So, in this case, we just try to double that, even though we overjumped the crap out of it. Not even a line there. Alright, let's try to get into some flow. But yeah, so I mentioned earlier, uh, I've been really getting into FPV drones uh, lately. Unfortunately, I, you know, I live in a small little area of Utah. I don't necessarily know anybody around here that also is into FPV drones. My brothers and my dad all have drones, but they're, uh, you know, more cinematography camera drones. So we have had some fun going out flying a little bit, but uh, it's a little bit different experience, right? Trying to do some. I almost want to call it FPV drone hooning, right? They call it freestyle. It's kind of what I've really been enjoying, trying to learn. I'm still obviously complete dog crap at it, but uh, it's really fun. Really uh, catches me, tickles me in the right way in relation to a lot of the sixed off space flight stuff that I really enjoy. Like in Star Citizen, uh, used to an Elite, stuff like that. So it's really fun having kind of a real life version of that, even though it's, you know, obviously not six stuff, but, uh, so yeah, really excited to do some content soon on that. I got me a little, uh, Insta360 Go 2, little action camera that I can put on the front of my drone, so we're hopefully going to capture some cool footage of some cool locations and, uh, having some fun stuff. I actually do have some footage baked up just from the other day we went to the local church, I flew it around a little bit, had a couple little crashes. Have some footage from before I had my little action camera that I picked up. That's just from the flight goggles. I do have a digital setup, uh, DJI FPV goggles, so the footage there isn't too bad. So I'll probably post that as well. So, like I said, just keep an eye out. But yeah, you guys can, can probably see just from running these uh, couple of laps here why I really dug this track. It's just it's got that mix of believability but also some really big booters and some really nice flow. 
Apologies to the track creator. I was meaning to look up and see who exactly made this, but I do not remember his name. But of course, it'll be listed uh, on MXB Mods, where I'll link to the track download page. So huge props to the guy that built this. Again, I don't know who it is, but yeah, keep keep cranking these kind of tracks out because this is this is really awesome. Difficulty rating, I'd probably put it like an intermediate track. If you're a total novice at MXB, MX bikes, uh, or just like motocross sims in general, and you come out to this one, you're probably gonna have a tough time clearing a lot of these jumps, regardless of what bike. There are they are a little bit techy, right? You gotta get good runs out of the corners, so you gotta execute the corners properly, and you gotta hit them at the right pace. So if you're coming in here with no, oop. And that, like that corner specifically, if you were just a total novice, you'd have a really tough time with that one. But it's also not like the most difficult track ever, right? It's, uh, it doesn't have a whole ton of roughness. Uh, it flows really nicely, right? So somebody that's really experienced on MX bikes is going to come pick this up and just, just have a really good time with it. It's definitely not one of those you're going to have to stress about a ton. You're just going to be able to go out, spin some laps, and uh, turn off your brain for a little bit, have fun. Let's do one more lap where we're going to try some of these inside lines. Short. Ooh. Yeah, these are going to go down. Let's see if we can actually get a little bit of throttle going out of this to try to get over that. Kind of. A little bit short again. Double, double. And we'll get on the lockers to get that inside there. Okay. This jump is really fun. It just really pitches you oh as we come up short. But luckily if you really get on the throttle there, lean back a little bit, even if you come up short. As long as you get your front tire over that one, you're gonna be alright. But yeah, just a lot of a lot of really fun jumps on this one where you can really get a little steezy with it. Get the bike sideways. Yeah, we actually got that one good. Just just have a grand old time. kind of riding is good for the soul, whether it's in real life or in a sim. It's just good to relax. Ooh, a little short. Alright, we're going to win one more, uh, one more attempted hot lap, I think. And then we'll probably call it good for this video. So let's uh, focus up and see what we can do. Stretch it out oh, a little bit sideways, but all right, we held it together at least, so that's good. Get a good pace going here. Try to execute these corners right. Not over jump this. Oh, we actually under jumped it a little bit, but we're all right. Sideways over that. Tuck this inside. Cut to the out. Scrub this guy. Okay. I'm gonna take the outside on here. Try to not blow the corner. Big, big air over this guy. Nice scrub. We're actually gonna go inside here. Oh, as I screw up. Well, I had to make this an okay lap, but uh, we ruined it. sure exactly where the finish is to be honest but uh, yeah let's try to go for this big triple one more time a little short that's it all right and again this is oh my gosh why am I blanking this was 2022 Tampa MX so yeah Go check it out. I'm not sure if this is the guy's name, D44F, probably something like that. Either way, uh, I don't, yeah, said Dylan 44 Frisch. So Dylan, awesome freaking job on this track, man. I'm loving it. And uh, I'll definitely be coming back to spin some more laps. It's just, like I said, it's one of those tracks that's really good for the soul. So yeah, we'll uh, have fun with the family heading up camping here tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys soon. See ya.